and i'm about to start in a couple of moments and i'm going to be doing the collective energy i'm going to be figuring out what is the energy for this week what do we need to know what can help us live our best possible lives how can we thrive what do we need to learn from where do we need to go like i'm just going to figure out everything for this week last week i didn't really get to do a collective reading so this week we're really gonna get into it i'm going to be using my right away tarot deck i will also be pulling some affirmations at the end for us and then at the end of that if you are on tiktok live i will be opening my list for private readings okay and readings will be twenty dollars tonight okay 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 my darlings and everyone please make sure you're subscribed to our youtube channel look at this we're going into abundant energy this week last week everything may not have gone the way we thought we wanted it to go or the way we had planned for it to go the eclipse season was doing a whole lot okay but this week things are going to be different okay things are going to be changing look at that things are going to be changing and there's also going to be a lot of blessings coming in this week we've got the new moon in sagittarius on the 23rd and this new moon in sagittarius is really going to be bringing in a lot of expansive lucky energy and i know that that is next week but i feel like new moon energy usually starts to linger three days before so the new moon is next week wednesday but I'm honestly starting to feel like we're going to start feeling some of the effects of it this weekend. So November 19th, 20th, and the 21st, okay? Oh, it may start as early as um, November 18th. We got the Seven of Swords back in the deck. I had a lot of cards jump out here. Whoa. Let me see what else dropped. It's so funny, like when cards drop on the floor. <sighs> when cards drop on the floor, I just know that like it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. It's a problem because like it makes it so hard for me to pick it up. Like I have to bend over. I'm like scratching my nails. Like it's like I just know it's a problem. And look at this, it's reversed. And the thing is, like, you see how I'm saying it's a problem and I'm getting so, like, and I'm getting angry, I'm getting loud, like, I'm getting... <sighs> we need to have a real talk, okay? We need to have a serious talk. Because eclipse season has done a whole lot, okay? And... I'm honestly about to pull up um, the current birth chart, the current birth chart, like the current chart, because I feel like I need to share some astrology information with the reading this week, okay? So I'm going to be using the tarot, I'm going to be using astrology, I'm going to be using my intuition and the angel, whatever, and we're really going to be connecting and figuring out what is going on right now. Um... I personally like to use time passages it is my favorite app I use it on my phone I don't usually use it it is my favorite app I use it on my phone I don't usually use it on the computer but I am about to try and download oh you have to pay for it oh no there's a free download okay let's see my apologies for the i probably should have done this beforehand but i honestly didn't think of this beforehand but as i'm downloading it the download is 111 and 111 is literally new beginnings and i see 123 
and I literally said I'd be including angel numbers and they just come to me like I don't have to look for them and this is confirmation that you don't need, really need to even look for your blessings you don't need to look for situations you don't need to look for anything everything is looking for you you are attracting it to you as long as you remain in that mindset where you believe that it's coming to you like transformation will come to you as long as you allow yourself to transform if that makes sense so 111 also talks about new beginnings and 123 also talks about divine alignment and allowing things to happen within its timing because a lot of the times we want to force things to happen within our timing but we have to realize that there's no specific time for things to happen like everyone's life and journey is supposed to be different because that's how we were created and because we go through different things it allows for us to create different things it allows for us to connect with different people in different ways it allows for us to express ourselves in different ways like it just allows for us to be us which is what we were created to be like one of a kind and unique like we're not all supposed to be mimics of each other we're not all supposed to be doing the same things at the same time we're not all supposed to have the same amount of things like we're not all supposed to necessarily be all striving towards the same exact goal yes sometimes there will be like overlaps where there are you know a group of people that do things at the same time for example graduate in high school at the same time but at the same time there's going to be people that graduated high school earlier there's going to be people that graduated high school later on in life at an older age there's people that got a ged there's people that never graduated high school there's people that never graduated high school but went on to do a degree there's people that like have so many different paths and so many different journeys and experiences that they are able to go through but also they are able to share with others to enlighten others and to you know just share <laughs> i don't know what i don't know what word i want to use right now and i feel like that's a sign within itself that some of the things i'm saying are obviously we all know it but at the same time if it's really that simple why is it that we're not doing it why is it that we're not exercising it that's something that someone once asked me or someone once said to me and it has like stuck with me they're like sometimes it's the simplest things that we need to exercise in life in order to live the life that we want to live sometimes it's just the little day-to-day -day habits or the little things that we do out of reflexes or our routine it's those things that we need to adjust in order to reach these big goals and dreams and aspirations that we have i hope that like made sense because i definitely lost myself there but like that's how i know i was channeling because i just don't even know what i just said <laughs> when i'm channeling like that like i have no idea what's going on like i'm just i'm just speaking okay i'm still waiting for this to download but we're about to have a serious conversation okay because i feel like this eclipse wants us to say goodbye to certain situations that aren't serving us anymore okay and with this new moon coming in with expansive energy whatever you're doing right now is what's going to expand in the next like two weeks okay so if right now you take this time to grind you take this time to let go of people places and habits that don't serve you you take this time to create new habits you take this time to work on yourself and elevate and put an energy towards your goals even if it's just like reading one page a day from your book or reading 10 pages a day from your book or meditating for five minutes or going for a walk like doing little things every single day to help you reach your goals and to help you like expand and grow within your self-development 
but you have to allow yourself to grow over time instead of trying to just do everything at once and burning yourself out okay and one of the ways that you're going to be able to do this is by literally leaving behind the people places things and habits that are no longer serving you some of you guys have already done this some of you guys have said goodbye to overthinking have said goodbye to anxiety or your stress have said goodbye to the people that weren't giving you enough have even said goodbye to like where you used to live you said goodbye to the things that once made you comfortable because eight of cups is still like some type of emotional stability but at the end of the day he's leaving the cups behind but this is showing up reverse so for some of you you guys have already done this but for some of you you guys need to do this this is something that needs to be done in order for you to elevate and move forward towards the abundance and blessings that you desire because for some of you you're still overthinking situations and some of these situations that you're overthinking are things that are showing up as if it's something but it's not really anything i'm going to say that again there's some things and people that are showing up as if they're something but they're not really anything do you see this cup do you see this fish? The fish is dead. You... The fish is dead. You see this water, you see it. But your fish is dead. This is something that doesn't serve you. This is something that is a dead end. You know what this is. Confirmation. My phone just, my laptop just dinged and it said something magical is happening tomorrow. So write that down in your journal. Something magical is happening tomorrow. Say that tonight. Something magical is happening tomorrow before you go to sleep. Some of you guys, this is ex, ex relationships, ex friendships. This is even old jobs that are trying to reel you back in with situations that aren't really serving. Situations that still don't necessarily pay you your worth or situations that don't align with your highest self. These are friends that don't, don't help you level up. These are ex-partners that don't help you level up. These are people that don't allow you to be your best possible self. Or this is your own negative mindset and thinking. But I feel like this is literally other people. I personally feel like this is other people. And for some of you, it's literally old lovers. I'm going to cover this so that we don't get flagged. It's old lovers or old friendships that aren't serving you anymore. That you need to let go of. And once you let go of it though... You'll go towards the happiness and the abundance and fulfillment that you want. Confirmation verb. Angel number 131 and 3131. Three of wands also and all these threes that I'm saying is confirmation of dreams and wishes coming true. And his cloak is red. His root chakra is balanced. I'm wearing red right now. Root chakra grounded. And then the green here for the heart chakra, feeling fulfilled, having that self-love and acceptance, having that awareness of self, but feeling grounded and secure in that. This week, we're, we're being called to work on our root chakra and our heart chakra, work on our self-love, work on the way we celebrate ourselves, work on the way that we take care of ourselves, work on your routine today i decided to work out i did a whole face mask i um showered and i took real long in the shower and i listened to music and i decided to lotion up my skin and add essential oils to my lotion and i did my hair and i did my whole skincare routine and i've put on my lip gloss and i've take care of yourself take some time for yourself to take care of yourself this week whether it's an hour every single day taking time for an unwind 
taking time for an hour in the morning to start your day in a positive note, thinking about all the things that you're grateful for, thinking about how you want to feel this week, thinking about what it is that you want to manifest into your life, what it is that you want to receive, setting intention that every time I drive somewhere, I just find a parking spot or someone pays for my coffee this morning, or I'm so grateful that I even have money to go get a coffee this morning, or I'm grateful to have breakfast in bed today. I'm grateful to make money from my phone today. Whatever it is that you want, set intention to start your day. Take time for yourself. And at the end of the day, take time for yourself to think about all those things that you set intention on and have gratitude. Show gratitude so that more can come to you. And also take time to check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What did you learn from the day? And if you don't want to write these things in a journal, record yourself or even just speak to yourself out loud. But take this time with yourself, for yourself, so that you can be your best possible self. I'm going to um, shuffle again. I'm going to pick up all the cards. Hello to everyone that's joined. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the gifts. If you feel like anyone needs this message for today, anyone needs some motivation or anyone needs some guidance this week, some support, then go ahead and send them this live or go ahead and send them this video if you're watching this on YouTube. Look at this. Justice and Seven of Wands. What's done in the dark shall come to light. This week, I feel like some truths are going to be coming out. And I feel like this isn't even just going to be um, within our families or within our communities. I feel like something may come out on Thursday or Friday that is going to have something to do with the world. Something may come out on Thursday or Friday that is going to have something to do with the world and it may not have something to do with the world wait it may it may have like global health or global um yeah yeah there may be something in regards to global health that comes up within this week or environmentalist issues that come up this week Or some type of um, shocking lawsuit and I never channel messages like that so and I'm, I'm feeling called to pull out the tower card I feel like someone may get pulled over um, pay attention this week I'm hearing someone may get pulled over this week pay attention like everything will be fine don't worry yeah everything will be fine but you may have to pay a fine or some of you guys need to renew your license renew your sticker i don't know does someone need to renew their license or their sticker or someone needs to um update their permit update their parking pass something like that yeah and justice something along those lines Update all of your paperwork this week. Take some time to organize yourself and update all of your paperwork. Especially if you're planning a trip, organize your, your, your passport, organize, just get yourself together. Cause some of you guys are gonna be celebrating something or someone's gonna be rewarded with something or someone's gonna be gifted something. But like, I don't know, like something like I'm like nosy. So I want to know like what it is, but I'm hearing like surprise, surprise. Maybe someone's even going to get like, oh, look, don't overthink it. Someone's going to get surprised. Someone may surprise you or you may surprise someone. Hello. Um, yeah, celebration. Someone's going to be celebrating something this week. Oh, look at this. 
someone's going to be celebrating something this week someone's going to get rewarded this week someone may be getting a lot of gifts this week <laughs> someone may be getting spoiled this week it may be someone's birthday cute um also maybe you need to spoil yourself or treat yourself or i don't know do something nice for yourself someone has to make an important decision about what it is that you want to do oh or make a decision about whoever this is that wants to spoil you <laughs> i think that's really funny but like take your time i'm here and slow down i just want to get to know you <laughs> and then doesn't he say don't turn around in that song like if someone has met someone new recently you can trust them yo that's cute that's cute okay that's really cute that's really cute um whoever you recently met or you're about to meet this week like they like you and you shouldn't overthink it and they're nice and you see how i'm just like <laughs> it's cute don't overthink it just have fun and don't even worry about like what is it gonna be where is it gonna go da, 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 da. like for once for once for once for once for once this is the first time i'm probably ever gonna say this go with the flow you know just go with the flow <laughs> don't overthink it don't worry don't stress go with the flow but make sure this ain't this ain't no um no scrub because like you know better a scrub is a guy that thinks he's fine is also known as a buster always talking about what he wants but just sits on his broke ass so no i don't want your number no i don't want to give you my name no i don't want to meet you nowhere no i don't want none of your time <laughs> Look at look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. Some of y'all don't want this. Some of y'all don't want this. And it's good. It's good. Cause some of y'all know they come into you with bullshit. Okay? But if your if your gut says like, oh, like I can trust them, baby, trust them because they a king. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, they're here to make your dreams and wishes come true are you and this goes like both ways king or queen you get what i'm trying to say because the wand yo this king's here to, to grant your wishes and this king's here with the money it's giving taurus virgo capricorn energy or it's giving like gemini aquarius libra energy also what's associated with the wands i don't know but there's other signs associated with the king of wands look at this the world like someone wants to give you the world someone wants to treat you like the world someone wants to spoil you for all that you are oh wands is fire my bad oh maybe they do have air placements as well because i said air but it is aries leo sagittarius and this tells me that like maybe they don't come across as the sign that they actually are as well see with the moon energy here maybe they don't come across as who they really are and for some of you this isn't just like romantic partners 
for some of you this is like just plutonic situations and friendships like you have friends that are gonna like spoil you with love spoil you with like time and energy friends that want to like hang out with you friends that actually want to do the stuff that you've always wanted to do maybe if you've always wanted to go to like a gallery or go out to eat you're gonna have friends that actually want to do that type of stuff with you yeah look some friends are going to be coming in some of them may be a little bit guarded and you may be a little bit guarded as well because these may be some new people but it's going to be like a fun good time like you guys will end up enjoying yourself so if you get invited to do new things this week i'm hearing that you should do it okay don't be afraid okay but trust your intuition because you know the things and the situations that you can't trust like you know when when deep down in your gut like mm, this this may not work out okay but whatever is done in the dark will always come to light whatever is done in the dark will always come to light okay i've been trying to pull up the current chart and i just don't know how to do it on this thing on the computer so Pull it up on astro charts instead. Um. So the moon is in Leo currently. I've got Mercury in Scorpio yeah i feel like some secrets are gonna come out this week i feel like some secrets are gonna come out this week um i'm hearing some of you guys don't know who to trust so pick a color blue or green pick a color if you're trying to figure out who to trust whether it's friends relationships or you're trying to figure out like what you should do Pick a color, blue or green. I'm about to say the answer in a second. Yeah, I'm about to say the answer in a second. For which one? Blue or green? And if you have like multiple things that you need to figure out, use blue or green. Okay, I'm hearing blue is yes. Blue is trust. Yeah, blue is yes. Blue is yes. Blue is yes. Blue is trust. Blue is aligned. Blue is good. Blue is blue is is what you need. Okay. If you chose green, green is no. Green is not it. Okay. Yeah. Green green is not it. Green is not aligned. Green green seems like it's aligned, but it isn't. Green is not going to be everything that you want it to be. Okay okay green is giving grinch vibes okay and blue is giving christmas okay you know which decision to make you know which decision to make okay okay jupiter is in pisces so some of you guys may have been having some intense dreams the past week wheel of fortune things are changing in your favor because you're leaving behind what doesn't serve you some of you guys have been having oh and it's changing fast and we've got eight and eight 88 i'm here nasty but classy birkin bag me spend a couple get my, get my, eh, eh, get my teeth done cash at me some of y'all are about to make some money or some of y'all are about to get spoiled for real look at this queen of swords and queen of cups some of y'all are finna get money some of y'all are finna get money make the right decision make the right decision bet on yourself literally bet on yourself literally things are turning in your favor like some of y'all are about to come into some money and uranus is in taurus and uranus is sudden change and taurus is the bank taurus is money so yeah look at this celebration some of y'all are about to get some money and three wish fulfillment.
some of y'all are about to get some money you see how i get loud and passionate when like things are things are like you know accurate and, uh, and on the nose some of y'all are about to get some stuff but you need to really be grateful and you need to stop like crying over the past you need to stop feeling guilty over the past you need to stop holding on to the past okay saturn is in aquarius right now and saturn is like all about law all about restriction all about structure <laughs> Some of y'all need to start getting more disciplined and spend less time on the internet, number one. Oh my god! The star card, which is literally the Aquarius card, and I'm talking about Saturn being in Aquarius. Some of y'all are spending too much time on the internet, number one. Some of y'all are not putting yourself on the internet, number two. Some of y'all are consuming too much and not creating enough. You know that you want to create, but you are not creating. Instead, you are only consuming. And you are not consuming for inspiration or motivation. You are just consuming for like indulgence. So it's time to get to work, okay? Some of y'all with Saturn and Aquarius, there's going to be some changes in regards to your status. Yeah. Some of y'all are going to get into relationships. Some of y'all are going to get engaged. Or some of y'all, if you're going through a lawsuit or law situation, it's going to change around in your favor. Some of y'all may be moving homes. Or some of y'all may um, reconnect with your father or have a better relationship with your father. Or within your own divine masculine energy within yourself. And also, I'm hearing that there may, that shock that I was talking about earlier that may be happening on Thursday or Friday, um, it may have something to do with um, a celebrity, especially with Aquarius energy. It's giving celebrity, it's giving star with the star card. Yeah. Someone may get into a car accident. Like a celebrity may get into a car accident. Like, and I never channel stuff about celebrities. Like, this is so weird. But like, a celebrity may get into a car accident this week or you may get into a car accident or you need to like be careful of a car accident or you may be around a car accident this week or someone in like politics may get into a car accident this week or like a police type of car accident something along the lines of like law politics or a celebrity of some sort may have some type of accident or may die or there may be some type of dry virus something i don't know yeah it's giving some type of issue but i'm hearing that if this is you and this isn't like the celebrities or whatever if this is you personally or someone that you know you'll be protected and everything will work out okay your guides are watching over you don't worry you will be protected okay even if you like hurt yourself or injure yourself, this is just happening for you to have some time in rest. Um, look at the sixth house of your birth chart and the 12th house, because this can give you some signs in regards to some injuries that you may be facing. Yeah, some injuries that you may be facing, but it's happening for you to have some rest time for you to recuperate or because you need to pay attention to your body and your health more, okay? okay currently the first house is being ruled by leo which tells me that it's really important for us to take care of ourselves i talked about that earlier um and like we've been working really hard but it's important to take breaks and relax i'm also hearing some of y'all really need to wash your hair wash your hair with intention of cleansing your energy because leo is the main it's the hair um also some of you guys may want to book going to the hairdressers or getting you know a treatment done or taking care of yourself or someone may book that for you someone may book a hairdressing appointment for you or yeah or you're gonna do your own hair at home or stay home but some of you guys just need to take care of your hair take care of your crown chakra take care of your scalp tend to yourself wow i didn't think i was going to be reading for this song i thought i was only going to be doing 30 minutes but um okay i want to get some last final messages of what do we need to know this week 
Neptune in Pisces, again, we may have some dreams, intense dreams. If you don't already, you should document your dreams in a dream journal. Pluto in Capricorn, there may be some changes in the law. Like I mentioned earlier with that Saturn energy and Pluto's all about transformation and Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. There may be some changes in the law or there may be some shocking things that happen in the law. It, yeah, and this may be like a universal thing or something that affects a lot of different countries. Literally, as I said that, the world jumped out. This may be a universal thing. This may affect a lot of people in the world. Wow very very interesting that's really really interesting um also with pluto and capricorn it may be a male that goes through whatever that i was talking about it may be like a male politician or a male celebrity It's important that you feel rich and abundant this week, even when you don't necessarily feel it. I'm hearing like fake it till you make it. Because at the end of the day, you really are abundant and you really are blessed. So like you got to like kind of fake it till you make it this week. You may have like a couple challenges, but honestly, I'm hearing that none of these challenges are gonna like completely overwhelm you. Like ten of ten of wands is the last, like the last. It's it's that's it. There's no more after that. So it's like for a lot of you, these are like the last challenges that you kind of have to go through in order to have the abundance that you seek, or you're just learning how to balance a bit better. Like for some of you, you guys are learning how to have better work-life balance. Some of you guys are starting new jobs. Or some of you guys are getting better like balance with school and life or what like whatever it is that you're like maybe family relationships you guys are just finding a better balance this week so that may be challenging at times but overall don't overthink it everything's going to work out in your favor okay just trust the process and allow yourself to like literally be your best possible self allow yourself to be your best possible self by allowing your mind to be a safe space instead of allowing your mind to be a place where you're critical of yourself or you're judging yourself or you're mean to yourself okay instead show yourself a lot of kindness a lot of patience and understand that you are resilient and everything's going to work out in your favor as long as you trust the process okay take care of you so that you can be your best possible self make time for you so that you can be your best possible self and make time for you on a daily and don't try to do everything all at once i'm just kind of reiterating some of the things that i've said for the people that have just joined and even just for myself to kind of just like round this off but yeah the end the sun I feel like Teletubbies, when the sun comes out at the end, I feel like, yeah, this is the end of the reading. But also with me saying Teletubbies, and I just saw angel number 616, I feel like some of you guys need to connect with your inner child and do some inner child healing or some inner child work. Some of you guys may even go horse riding or you want to go horse riding or you did horse riding as a child. You need to do that. Some of you guys want to connect with animals. You should do that or go to the zoo um some of you guys may be planning a vacation yeah some of you guys on saturday should allow yourself to sleep in watch cartoons in bed and eat like cereal like do the things that you used to want to do as a child or on sunday allow yourself to sleep in and have like cartoons and cereal and really connect with your inner child or whatever it is that you always wanted to eat as a child that you maybe weren't allowed to have that and indulge your inner child a bit okay yeah that's the end of the collective reading darlings thank you so much if you are watching this on youtube make sure you subscribe comment like share whatever 
and also i want everyone to comment something nice about themselves comment something nice for somebody else to motivate or inspire or even just comment something that you are grateful for let's raise our vibrations together as a collective and also just spread some good vibes if you're watching this on tiktok double tap on the screen share show some love i'm about to get into the personal readings so just give me a second i just want to say this so that i can end the youtube video here um but yeah make sure you check out my podcast new episodes are coming up make sure that you follow me on all of my socials so you're able to see when i am on live and if you want to get a personal reading with me use the link that is in the description box and that you can book a reading or reach out to me on any of my platforms but yeah darlings i love you i appreciate you and i hope you have an amazing week bye well not bye to you <laughs> i just needed to do that so that i can save that for youtube but i'm gonna do personal readings now if you would like a personal reading it's either gonna be 11 11 for a mini reading or 20 dollars for a full reading i'm gonna comment my paypal so you guys can send in your money um there we go mini readings are 11 11 and full and usually my full readings are over a hundred US dollars. And this is um the pricing is in US dollars, guys. Just so you know. Okay, there we go. So if you would like a personal reading, please comment your name once you have sent in your payment. And I will do your personal reading. Okay. Thank you to everyone that showed love whilst I was channeling, that received the messages that I was sharing. Oh my god, I completely forgot to do affirmations. Oh my gosh, do I want to just leave this part in the YouTube video and now do the affirmations? Do I want to chop this out? I'm going to do the affirmation because... I forgot so if you're watching this on YouTube and I said bye and I was like <laughs> you know this is what happens when you just go with the flow you guys may even forget something this week but it's okay look at this I am growing smarter and wiser every day one of the affirmations for this week is I am growing smarter and wiser every day and I see two, 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 and I also see zero, zero, zero. Another affirmation is I trust that I am divinely guided and protected. I trust that I am divinely guided and protected. So those are our two affirmations for the week. So yeah, YouTube, bye now. <laughs>